All right, patients and mobsters, welcome back. This is Dr. Jared. We're going to go through some deadlift today. This is a set of five at 315 pounds, a decent amount, um, but not a huge amount by any means. Uh, we just want to go through some setup things, just make sure that uh, we're doing a good job setting up when we approach this bar, as well as keeping it back on the way down and really keeping a flat spine, keeping things loaded through the hips and the legs, keeping a very neutral, solid, stable spine, and being very active with our, our lats to keep uh, – uh, keep some tension through that system now not to the point where you know we're trying to let our rhomboids or the muscles in between our shoulder blades guide how much we can deadlift but just making sure that we're tight and using as much as uh, the most amount of musculature possible to get through our lift so we're going to go ahead and start here you see i'm going to grab this bar have a particular way of doing that i like to take tension out of the bar as i'm dropping down loading my system and you'll see just a little bit of a shift backwards in this direction as I go through this. Good. See how I'm trying to keep everything back. Most errors are going to be with that bar moving forward or you're seeing a lot of rounding happening through that low back. Now with elite level guys or guys who are pulling 400, again this is only 315 pounds and realistically that's not a lot. Um, there's a lot of guys up four or 500 pounds, power lifters well above that, and you'll see them round significantly through their shoulders and thoracic spine. Um, that's okay as long as their lumbar spine is nice and tight and rigid and neutral. Um, we just don't want the muscles of our shoulder blades dictating how much we can deadlift. So as long as we're nice and stable with this back angle especially, see my back angle is nice and tight right there, maybe a little bit of rounding through the thoracic spine. But as I go through this, I'm going to keep those lines there to say, yep, I'm coming forward again to get to the middle of my foot. There's my back angle. As I come up and out of that, I have a pretty good relationship between my hip and my shoulder. And that's the big thing. A lot of times we'll see this hip hike up you know, right there where nothing happens with the shoulder right there. That's called a stripper deadlift, where hips go um, up first because the knees are pushing back, and then the hips come forward like uh, you might see on, yeah, we won't even go there, but you get the idea. We want to keep everything integrated and moving together so this relationship of movement between the hips and the shoulder, you know, setting that back angle is very important until we come to full extension. And realistically, we see knees and hips come to full extension at the same time. Now, I don't fall back into hyperextension of that low back. We definitely don't want to do that. Coming back forward again, just to the middle of the foot. And then I can come right back up and out of there nice and smooth every time going through there, keeping that good relationship between the hips and the shoulders. So as you're looking at these, make sure you know, you're know you looking at your bar path in terms of where it's coming up and where it's coming down. And we want to make sure that we're always error on maybe even being on too far back. Most of the errors that really hurt our system are going to be from dumping that weight forward. The other thing is that setting that back angle on that initial rep, if we go all the way back to the beginning here, we definitely want to set the back, tilt back like you saw there. I'm tilting back to get that initiation off of the ground and making sure I'm not dumping forward. After that, I want to go find that same position on the way down and be able to touch and go out of that with that good relationship between the hip and the shoulder. Guys, hopefully this helps clean up some confusion with your deadlift. At a bare minimum, you can take some film of yourself, maybe go through some of these aspects of the bar path as well as setting your back angle and the relationship between your hip and your shoulder to clean up that deadlift because it's a very simple but very prerequisite important movement for all the Olympic lifts. Now again, Olympic lifting and deadlifting are different, but it's still that good prereq of body awareness awareness of how to stay tight and stable as we uh, initiate a weight off the ground. Good luck.